Hello everyone, I'm Master Silver and welcome to Reacting to Brawl Talk Live. It is December 11th, uh, 2021, and we're here. I'm a little bit later to it today, uh, we only got three minutes till the stream starts, so I'm, I'm a bit behind schedule, but nevertheless, I'm here. Me and Parker, we saw the teaser with Colt and everything, and we theorized that the uh, the one of the brawlers is going to be part of the Gold Arm Gang, and they're going to be like Shelly's evil sister. That's one of our guesses. This guy, Parker thinks might be something like Spike, because if uh, we believe that Belle is Colt's mother, and Shelly's the evil sister of uh, or the the new brawler is gonna be the evil sister of Shelly. And then maybe this guy is gonna be the evil version of Spike in some way. So that way, the it's the Gold Arm Gang is like the evil version of the old Western trio. I don't know. It's a bit of a long stretch, but not too far off the mark, I think. Um, but I don't know. This guy, a bit short and puffy. I think he's gonna be the chromatic brawler. But, I can't be sure. I mean, it's two brawlers though, so that's interesting. That hasn't happened in a little while. I mean, if one of them's free, then there's going to be another apocalypse. I guess while I'm here, I should probably try and predict who I think is going to win. Or like, what skins I'm going to get, sorry. <laughs> I don't... <sighs> I can't picture skins for Griff, which makes it hard for me to picture skins for Griff, but I feel like Griff might get a skin. Because he's the only one that doesn't have a skin aside from Meg, but I feel like it's still a little too soon for Meg. That's the problem, otherwise I'd be guessing Meg too. But Griff, it's been out for a bit. I think it's, I think he's going to get a skin. And it's Brawler Days, so maybe they'll wrap like M's in a scarf and everything and be like, oh my god, this winter fashion is so cool. Um... <laughs> Oh, uh, what else? Because it's probably going to be the Brawler Days. Right? We're in December. There's updates coming out in, like, January, I'd assume. So, the Brawler Days probably going to happen. Um, so, I've predicted M's in some winter suit. Predicted uh, Griff. Predicted the one brawler being Shelly's evil sister. What am I missing? Uh, there's gonna be a lot. It's probably not gonna be Rico, because Rico just got the chicken skin. Probably not gonna be Dynamite, because he already had a Brawl Day skin. Probably not gonna be uh, Squeak, because Squeak got. I guess Squeak could get a skin, but he just got Potato Squeak and, like, Ghost Squeak. So, I think it's, I think it's time we, we let go of Squeak for a little bit, you know, give him a bit of a breather so people can actually enjoy his skins and not be, like, overshadowed by the new one. So that's in, like, an angry El Primo? That's an angry El Primo. Is that gonna be new skin? Is there, is there gonna be a Tiger El Primo? Cause that looks really freaking cool. Wait. Video games. Maybe it's gonna be something for Apic. Just saying. It might be something for Apic. And, you know, now that I look at this, it doesn't exactly scream M's. Even though the blue and the pink are kind of her colors doesn't really scream M's all that much to me anymore, but, um... Yeah. I know I've said this before, but it's really neat how they can just remix their own music to make anything. Super cool. Okay, so whoever played this game just lost with El Primo. I can tell you that much. Yeah. 
Yeah, I fell asleep. Yeah, I fell asleep. But yeah, that tiger skin photo pin looks really good. And welcome to Roll Talk. <laughs> Happy Brawliversary, everyone! Brawl is completing three global years tomorrow. Our end of the year tradition is back, and with two more days of rewards. Open the game every day from tomorrow to December 26th and collect a free reward every day. You can get coins, boxes, exclusive pins, wildcard power points, and a free skin for Dana Mike, which is inspired by his first release in the beta of Brawl Stars. We are also doing something on top of the gifts this year. During the celebration, you will get extra quests every day. But be careful, both extra quests and the free rewards only last for 24 hours. Oh, and look at the time! It's Broly days already! Let's start with Grom, our new epic brawler. A security guard in the castle in Star Park who is best friends with his walkie-talkie and terrified of kids? Yep, so to hide his fear, he uses a happy-looking hoodie over his face. He's a damage dealer who's throwing bombs that explodes in four different directions when they touch the floor. His super is very similar, but a lot bigger, more destructive, and it can also destroy walls. So how is this related to Brawly Days? Because you can get him for free during the Brawly Days challenge, which starts on December 23rd. The format will be similar to the previous challenge for Grief. 3 vs 3 game modes with retries. If you don't unlock him in the challenge, he will become available in the shop and in boxes late December. We can't have Brawly Days without our seasonal skins, right? Exactly. This year we have for you Ho 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 Bo, like Gift Press Jackie, Slayer Griff, and Logma Spike. The 2020 Brawly Days skins are also back, but not the skins from 2019. The Brawly Days Pirates are now part of a different group of skins. The Pirates. And they will become part of a pirate event. I love okay, Brawly Days are over. Clean up your holiday decorations and open up space for the Tiger Pit Arena. This update will also include the next Brawl Pass season, the Year of the Tiger. It will all take place inside a video game, which is inside our video game. And everything related to this season will be a tribute to classic old fighting games. New season, new brawler. Feng will be our next chromatic brawler coming with the new Brawl Pass season in January. He works at the local cinema in Star Park, but he's also an inspiring actor, usually in lower budget martial art movies. Fang is a melee brawler that can kick everyone in his way. Unlike El Primo, Rosa or Buzz, he doesn't throw a series of attacks, but just one instead, which is harder to hit but does a lot more damage. And if he misses his kick, his shoe flies away in the same direction of his attack. He doesn't do a lot of damage, but could be a good strategy to charge up his super. It also looks funny too. His super is quite different though. He unleashes a powerful flying kick that if it hits an enemy, it will connect to another target, if the target is within Fang's super range. This can happen up to four times in total. He could literally wipe a whole team with just one super if you play it right. Since Fang is the chromatic brother of this update, he received a skin at the last year of the Brawl Pass, which is called Furious Fang. The skin for the first year is Major Rosa. And here are our challengers. El Tigro, Orochi Edgar, Sway Master Barley, and Nyan Nita for the Power League skin. Not a challenger, but a cute one for Valentine's Day. El Corazon. One note to the Brawl Pass season. It will be shorter than before, so now every new season will start on the fourth Monday of every other month. If you are the kind of person who doesn't like to depend on your teammates and don't like to play solo showdown, we have a new game mode for you. Duels is our newest 1v1 game mode, and here is how it works. Before the match starts, you have to pick three brawlers. 
when one of your picked brawlers gets defeated, you'll play the next one in line. So each brawler equals an extra chance. To win a mode, you must defeat all the brawlers from your opponent. Whoever does it first, wins. When a brawler gets defeated, both players respawn at the start position. The environment which has been destroyed before will stay destroyed in the next round. For now, this new game mode will be seasonal, but will be available throughout the next Brawl Pass season, starting in January. Power League matches can now be played in friendly matches. And, as usual, we are getting lots of animated pins. But before we go, we just want to give a huge shout out to all the Brawl Stars contestants in the Brawl Stars World Finals, which happened just a few weeks ago. But a bigger shout out to Zeta Division, who are this year's world champions. Thank you for another awesome year, and we see each other in 2022. Done. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Ah. Bye, bye bye! Bye bye! And welcome to Brawl Talk! Happy Brawliversary, everyone! Brawl is completing three global years tomorrow. Our. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but this is not. He's super. Uh, he's he's super. He's super. He's dinner. <laughs> Wait, I need to laugh. <laughs> I'm, I'm holding that for so long. Um, okay, so that blew my mind. Um, there's a lot to comb through. Yeah, okay, so... No, that's not what I want, come on. Mr. 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 Uh... You can get coins, boxes, exclusive things, wildcard power points, and a free skin. Okay, this right here, I have to give props to this because I think I said this before. I don't know if I said it to Parker and them or if I said it in a video, but they could use old Dynamite skin because of how different it is and just remodel it like they did Rico and Brock's old skin because it's that different that it would work. And they did. Oh man, you guys might not know this, but I'm one of the most experienced players in Brawl Stars and that's not just me like... Like, um, that's not just me, uh, saying stuff to say stuff. I, pl I was playing the game in 2017 when it was just a beta. I played it when it was portrait, then when it landscape, and then went back to portrait. I, I played it through all that time. I mean, it's not the same account that I played on before because I lost that account, so I've been screwed out of the Star Shelly skin, but I was there when this was how he looked. I was there, so this, to me, is so nostalgic and so nice and so... It's just so generous by them. I love it. That, that This one really got me in the heart, right off the bat, because I really, really, really wanted this guy. And I'm so happy that they acknowledged his previous existence. King for Dynamite, which is inspired by his first release in the beta of Brawl Stars. We are also doing something on top of the gifts this year. During the celebration quest, Brawl, a security... Okay, Grom. Grom looks like he's gonna have attacks that are hard to hit. Kinda looks like a brute that have a bit more health than that. Gotta admit, gotta admit. But... I like the look of Grom. I do, he's gonna be an epic brawler, so he doesn't have another skin. So he, he's essentially like Edgar. The only problem I have with him being an epic is that it's been years since we've had another rare and we have only four rare brawlers um and we keep putting up the epic stock but we keep building up the epics however we have five super rares and they have four rares and those two haven't really gotten any love in a while so although I love him being an epic, this would have been a good chance to get someone new down there, and they uh, they did not. Nevertheless, I like the design of Grom. Apparently, he's 
he works at the castle thing, so he's probably going to be joining Ash. He's part of Ash's trio. So that's good to know. That's good to know. They're almost done. The castle trio is almost done. Um, so I was wrong about the M's skin. They did not give M's anything, but I was right about Griff. So the guard in the castle in Star Park. We Hide his fear. Right, he uses a happy looking Brown's hoodie. Actions where they touch the floor. He's super. So how is this related to Brawly Days? Because you can get him for free during I the Brawly Days challenge, which else. starts on December 23rd. The format will be similar to the previous Ooh. challenge for Griff. 3 vs 3 game modes with retries. If you don't unlock him in the challenge, he will become available in the shop and in boxes late December. We can't have Brawly Days without our seasonal skins, right? Exactly. This year we have for you Ho Ho Ho. Ho 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 Bo. That is my favorite Christmas skin to ever come out. I know they have Santa Mike, but Ho 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 Bo? I, I can't even. That might be one of my favorite bow skins. I'm a, I'm a good bow player. I play bow often. Uh, you can ask Austin. I I use Hellraiser bow. I believe it's called Hellraiser. Mm, I, I believe it's called Hellraiser. But I use Hellraiser bow a lot. And this is just... God, it's so good. I haven't drawn bow yet. But I'm going to be excited to draw this skin for bow. Honestly, it is... Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Such a good concept. Oh boy, like an eagle. Gift Express Jackie. Gift Express Jackie. Another good one. I can't exactly agree with the fact that she's wearing a onesie, but I do like the skin nonetheless. I don't know if I like it more than Ultra Driller Jackie, but I do like the skin. I do like the skin. Uh, it, it's certainly an interesting concept. Uh, I can't say it's my favorite Christmas skin, but I like it a lot. I like it a lot. It's it's still good. Jackie. Slayer Grief. Slayer Griff. <laughs> He's practically Rudolph. But, okay, so his head's a sleigh, but his body is that of a reindeer. Honestly, quite interesting. They found a way to make the intricate design of Griff work, and I honestly like it. I like the sleigh. I don't know how I feel about the body, because it's literally a decapitated reindeer with a sleigh on top of his head, but I do like it. I like the, uh, the Griff skin. Uh... I like, I like the skin. I don't know if I like it more than the original. Like, I don't know if I like it more than the default. Because Griff really rocks the purple. But this is definitely, I predicted it, so that's cool. But this is also, you know. And Logma Spike. Logma Spike. I love that. That is good. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it. <laughs> that is nice. That is neat. That is cool. I love that skin for Sp Spike. My god, that's fantastic. Mm. That, that is great. You know, one Brawl Day, they're going to have to make a, a sprout skin. Because you know her animation where the little leaf rises out of her glass container because the plant is just growing? One of those days has got to be a Christmas tree. Or at least have the Christmas tree grow inside the thing and the star be poking out at the top. That's what they got to do for a sprout sometime. Um, but anyway, back to Spike. That is good. Honestly, it's like... It, it rides right up there with, um, is it Swamp Spike? The Yellow Spike skin. I forget what it's called off the top of my head. Mecha Spike? I don't know. But it, it's right up there with that one. And honestly, I love it. I love it. I don't know if I like it more than Dark Lord Spike, but I, I love it. The 2020 Broly Day skins are also back, but not the skins from 2019. Okay, who was the Brawl Day of 2020? Was that, was that the Frank skin? I think that was the Frank skin. So I think what they're saying there is that the Santa Mike, the... Lil Helper, Penny, and the Red Nose, Nita, they're gone. So if you don't have them, you can't get them again. I have the, um, I have the Lil Helper, Penny. My brother has Red Nose, Nita, so we got that covered. So I think Frank's gonna be back, but aside from them, I don't know who. The Brawly Days Pirates are now part of a different group of skins. The Pirates. Oh. Yeah, these are also Christmas. Apparently. Um, I already have this guy, so that's pretty cool. And I have this guy, so that's pretty cool. Because these two were in the shop at one point. Him, I want that skin. If there's any one skin I want out of any... And they no, shut up. If there's any one skin I want out of these pirates, it's him. Ever since I laid Oznet for the first time, I wanted this skin. This guy, I need. I need him in my life. I'm getting Corsair Colt. And then Poco... I'll get Poco too. I'll get Poco so I can complete the thing. But I want Poco. 
I want Corsair Colt, primarily. That's the one I'm looking forward to most. It's like most people with Werewolf Leon in the Brawl days. I want Corsair Colt. ...to become part of a pirate event. Okay, Brawl days are over. Clean up your holiday decorations and open up space for the Tiger Pit Arena. This update will also include a video game, which is inside our video game. And everything related to this season will be a tribute to classic old fighting games. New season, new brawler. Okay, so we were wrong, me and Parker. That's not Shelly's evil sister. In fact, he's not evil at all. He's not even part of the Gold Arm Gang, I don't think. I think... Does he join Lola in the uh, holiday? I mean, not in the holiday. In the Hollywood uh, aspect of Brawl Stars. Is he part of her trio? I could see him being part of her trio. I think. I think they might be. I think they might be part of the same trio because he's someone who is like works in lower budget kung fu films and whatnot. And I don't completely understand his attack. I'll have to wait for Kairos's video to explain that. But honestly, I like him. His design is not too specific. It's very plain. I like that difference from most of the rest of them. But I like the like the simplicity of his design. The the colors aren't exactly you know extravagant or or out of the blue. They're they're mainly the primary colors, which is very interesting as well. And it's a decent concept. Decent concept. Um, wow. Yeah. No, I like it. I like it. And uh, Fang is his name. Bit cliche, but it works. So I think he joins Lola's trio of like the Hollywood thing. So. Or I should say Brawlywood. Fang right. will be our you next comedic brawler bitch. coming with the new Brawl Pass season in January. He works at the local cinema in Smart Move. Rosa hit, but Fang direct up his super. It also looks funny too. His super is cool, it will connect to another four times in total. Sorry, he I'm could literally to... wipe a comedic brawler of this update. He received a skin at the last year of the Brawl Pass, which is called Furious. <laughs> If they, if they weren't afraid of getting copyrighted by Marvel, they could have called it Fing Fang Foom. <laughs> but honestly... I think I might like this skin more than the default. Which is a difference from... Actually, no, that's, that's a lie, because I liked Chola Lola more than regular Lola. But... I don't know, usually it's a 50-50 with me. I mean, obviously it's a 50-50 in anybody, but... <laughs> um, if you run through it, right, I like default Gale more than the the Python Gale that was at the end of his Brawl Pass. I like regular Colette more than Trixie Colette. I like... Well, I haven't really seen Mecha Paladin, so it would be hard for me to decipher that one. I kind of like both of them the same, really, kind of both the same. Um, then Lou... I kind of like the the King Lou, but that one doesn't have enough of a differentiation to me to be like better. And then Gold Arm Bell, I like, but again, it's not that different. And then Born Bad Buzz, I like, but I mean it's a little different. It's a little different. And then Ronin Ruffs, I actually like less than Default Ruffs. So yeah, I guess this guy joins the list of people that I like the Brawl Pass skin more than their... Like, I don't hate, like, his default skin. I just think this one's much better. I like it. Furious Fang. Fang. I just realized I haven't made a video about the Brawl Pass yet. Shit, okay. Cool. The skin for the first year is Major Rosa. Okay. So the skin for that Brawl Pass, I believe is what they're saying. The skin for that Brawl Pass is Major Rosa. I like that. So it's like an army kind of Rosa. Anyway, I do like that a lot. I like that skin for Rosa. That, 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 I actually like that more than default. That is my favorite skin for Rosa. I'm pretty sure. Also, what the? Wait, hold on a second. Did I pause at the most inconvenient moment? What the? What, what, what's going on with their head there? Is it just me or does Rosa look very disproportionate right there? That is odd. That is, that is very odd. But I like that. That might be my favorite skin for Rosa. I like it a lot. And here are our challengers. El Tigro, Orochi Edgar. Okay. I. I'm sorry, I, I'm lost that. Because for some reason, it's just me, or does, do they look bigger? Do their models look 
bigger than before. Maybe it's just zoomed in. Maybe it's something wrong with me. But... Here are our challengers. El Tigre. El Tigre. I like that. I do like that skin a lot. I've already talked about that skin. It kind of reminds me of the DC skin, uh, the DC character Black Tiger. So I like that too, but I already talked about the fact that I like the look of the El Tigre. You don't die. Orochi. Orochi Edgar. It reminds me of Orochimaru from Naruto, and I think it might be the same thing given the snakes. It might have to do with that. And this is my favorite Edgar skin. This is my favorite Edgar skin. I like... I like Edgar, Sway Master. Sway Master Barley. I like this too. I don't know if it's my favorite skin, but I very much like this skin. This skin is great. And also he's got he's got hair and a full on beard now. God that is Barley and Nyan Nita for the Neon The Power Leak skin. Oh the Power Leak skin is Neon Nita. Okay. So that that sounds it. I just looked at Bruce now. Bruce looks so fucking okay, this this is a good skin. This is a good skin. I was a little, you know, hip, uh, I, well, I, it was more of a 75-20 on whether I liked it or not, and I did like it, 75%. But this, this brings up to 100. I love this skin now. Look at that, Bruce. Bruce might be the best part of this skin right there. Oh my god, that is glorious. Not a challenger, but a cute one for Valentine's Day. El Jesus, I mean, this man gets so many skins. Right? <laughs> it's like Rey Mysterio, how each week he comes out with a new look. It's just, Jesus Christ, man. But Valentine's Day, okay, I can see, I can see it. <laughs> it's not the fist of theory, it's the fist of love. <laughs> I don't know if I like it more than El Tigre, though. One note to the Brawl Pass season. It will be shorter than before, so now... And also there's the new league, which is uh, 1v1s, which I actually really like the concept of. I might, I might try it out. It's not like a bit seasonal, but I might try it out. Nevertheless, that is... That update blew my mind. Arguably one of the best seasons, in my opinion. Wow. Also, I love the, the Spike doll with the thing. And also, they came out with new true Every new season, we are the showdown. Game mode. When the opponent respawn at in the next. I'll throw out. I'll be playing it pins. Essence in the and right. Yeah, so I've already drawn true gold penny, but she gets uh, the true silver true gold skin. Jackie. Very nice of her to finally get it. And then Rosa. Understandable, and then Lou, uh, he gets his, which is the, that's quite cool. They're almost done with adding the true gold and true silver skins to the game, aren't they? Like, there's there's not many more to uh, to go. I don't know, but uh, wow, that was that was good. That was good. I liked that a lot. That was a very mind blowing update. Again, very nostalgic. Hit me in the heart, which probably adds to it, but. Uh, Wow, um, I'm blown away by that, and I gotta make a Brawl Stars video soon, I probably will, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but thank you everyone so much for watching, I'm Azul Silver, like, comment, subscribe for more of this, more gaming vlogs, whatever else comes, I'll see you all very, very soon. Later guys.